1 is given as 0 0.2. All right? Is given as 0. That is current for current flowing through resistor R1. So we are representing it here as current 1 is given as 0 0.2 amps, right? And uh, 0 0.2 amps. So with this, we cannot calculate the current that we flow into resistor 3. But first of all, we need to identify that the current flowing resistor 2 is given as that is I2 is given given as a uh, one amp, okay, one amp, okay. So if we add this, if we add this together, we are going to have one point two amps, okay. One point two amps. What does this mean? What this means is very simple. This means that zero point two amps is a current value entering resistance or resistor one then one amp is the current entering resistor two okay because in a parallel connected uh, network of resistors resistances offered will receive different currents will oppose different currents so that what it means so for us to find the current flowing in the third resistance, okay, in the third resistor, R3, with resistance on unknown, which we have found, we need to do this. We need to specify this. So the current flowing there can easily be found by taking note of the total current flowing in the circuits, then minus or subtracts the summation of a current flowing through resistor 1 and current flowing through resistor 2, which we have as um, 1, which we have as 1 plus 0 0.2, whichever way it comes. So far we recognize them as respective current values of resistor R1 and the resistor R2 respectively. So with this, we have um, we have a total current given is total current flowing in the circuit is two. Yes, the total current is two. So we cannot forget this minus one plus uh, zero point two. We give us one point two amps. So we have one point two amps. That's the combined current flowing in resistor one and resistor two respectively. Now by the time we do the simple uh, subtraction method or application, we have that uh, two minus 1.2 is going to give 0 0.8 amps, okay? This is uh, 0 0.8 uh, amps and that represents the current value flowing into R3, okay? So the current flowing into R3 is uh, 0 0.8, and we're representing that with I3 is equal to 0 0.8, all right? Wait, let's uh, clean off that. So that would be, that would be 0 0.8, okay? That is what it means. So we have a ball pen again, um, 0 0.8 amps. Very clear. So we have that sorted out. Now we now know the amount of current flowing in resistor 3. It is time for us to calculate the value of resistor 3 by once again applying Ohm's law. So resistor 3 value can be calculated using this simple Ohm's law representation where we have the energy is equal to E all over current flowing in resistor 3 since current flowing in parallel connected resistors is always different. 
So for the energy is 20 ohms, 20 volts, please. 20 volts. Current now given or flowing through resistor 3 is found to be 0 0.8 ohms. All right, this is very simple. We are going to resolve that. All right, so this is also equivalent to 20, all right, 20 all over 8 over 10 for simplicity. 8 over 10. I normally do this each time I'm resolving a question without using a calculator, okay? And, and I will urge you to learn how to do that. All right, having said so, if you have found value in this content, come on, support this channel by subscribing. Give us some thumbs up, right? Share with your friends, share with your students, share with your fans, share with any family that likes something like this for their children. Also, do not forget to turn on the bell button for constant notification each time content like this are uploaded for your learning pleasure all right let's do it this way drop in the comment box the topic that you want me to treat next i am here for you right thank you so much let's continue so with this we can simplify further and we have 20 okay it's written this way right then over one then 8 over 10 can just be times um times okay let's write our times multiplication sign properly right good let's write it properly and then get what we need so 20 over 1 times what happens here 10 comes up right 10 comes up and then finally it goes down good it comes down if i should use that word now what do we do 20 times 10 is 200 200 good 200 that's what it means 200 all over 8 okay so we can simplify this we can simplify this remember we can still leave it this way this is measured in ohms that's the value of r3 but let's see if we can simplify this further all right let's see now it divide itself can it go it's one can it divide 200 let's go to divide 200 to divide this is going to be um 100 but let's go with five okay five divide 200 we have 40 but five cannot divide this right good so we go with two two divide 200 is 100 let's see we're going to simplify it for clarity purpose and the understanding then two divide eight is going to give us four right good so what happens here what happens here four divide hundred good this is going to be 25 25 this is clear right this is going to be 25 right 25 ohms very simple 25 ohms therefore we have found therefore the value of r3 the value of r3 is given as 25 ohms all right the value of r3 is given as 25 ohms that's what we are doing to write down here. R3 has been found to be 25 ohms. Very simple. And that is very, very interesting. The processes or the steps involved are very, very clear for our learning, pleasure, and for our understanding. Right? Okay. So we have 25 ohms as the value of resistor 3. Good. Once again, if you have watched up to this point, if you have found value in what we are doing here, in this content, consider, come on, come on, consider subscribing, right? Give me some thumbs up. Share with your friends, with your students, with your colleagues, with anyone. 
And then forget, don't forget to turn on the bell button for constant notification each time content like this are uploaded. Drop the topic you want me to treat or teach next time in the comment box. I urge you, you'll have it treated. Thank you. All right, let's finally, the next thing we are going to calculate here as expected or as requested from the equation is power consumed. So we're going to find power consumed in that circuit, right? Power consumed. We will not forget this because they want us to find the amount of power consumed in that circuit. So what do we do? It's very simple. We write power consumed is P is equal to E, the energy given, right? E, energy supplied to the circuit, multiply the total current flowing in the circuit. Very simple, okay? And then we substitute accordingly, and that becomes the energy in the circuit or supply to the circuit is 20 volts, right? And then total current flowing in the circuit is 2 amps. Good. All right? And this will give us 20 times 2. I repeat, 20 times 2 is going to be 40, right? It's going to give us 40 watts because power is measured in watts. 40 watts. Very simple. 40 W. 40 W. I'm trying to squeeze in everything here. Good. So, the value of the power consumed in that, in that parallel connected resistors offering different resistances that we have discussed so far is 40 watts. Remember that the extra unit of power, P, is watts, okay? The extra unit of power, P, is watts, okay? W-A-T-T. -T. I think I need to put it down. The extra unit of uh, power for learning pleasure, extra unit of power is uh, watts, okay? So let's just take it that way, that unit of power is what so that we don't forget and that is w right w a and double t x that is a right t t and then we have x what good so we cannot forget easily so that's the unit this is the unit of uh, power don't forget thank you so much my amazing subscribers, my viewers, my returning subscribers, my new subscribers, thank you so much for staying up to this moment, for finding value in this content. Continue to promote this channel for learning pleasure, for the sake of learn learning, all right? Please remember to subscribe. Thumbs up, right? And then share with your friends. Drop the topic you want me to treat next. See you in my next video.